morning. Happy Tea Tuesday. But first, coffee. So that is a very windy morning this morning, and all my wind chimes, it sounds so nice. So tea will be this afternoon with a little chat more about money saving tips and no spend, low spend. So I'll see you later on and we'll have a little chat. Tea Tuesday, except I'm cheating, I'm having coffee. All right, I'm here in my living room with more family photos. My whole house is full of family photos. I love looking at my family all day long. So cheers. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the money saving tips that I do uh, when I'm trying to do a no low buy and I'm trying to save some money, which is most of the, most of the time anymore because <sighs> the world has just gone absolutely bananas. So anyway, no matter what your political views are, you kind of have to admit things are a little nuts these days. But I'm not going to talk about that today because I got a lot of opinions on that and I don't want YouTube to me off the platform. So anyway, let me tell you some of the things that I do and I made notes so I'll be looking at those so I don't forget anything. Okay, now this might sound like, you know, Ellen, you're a little la la, but one of the things that I do, and I've done it for years, <sighs> seems like every time I go to make a video, I get a phone call. Anyway, let me go on to my list. So the first thing I do, like I said, I've been doing this for years, whenever I have a problem, like if I don't want to do something and I need to have a conversation with myself, I actually talk to myself, looking myself in the eye, in the mirror. And if, let's say I keep going over something over and over and over and over again, like we all do if we have a big problem, I'll just look at myself in the mirror and I'll just say, stop, stop and don't do it. And if I have to do that 10 times, I'll do it 10 times and it's very effective and it works. If you have a goal, you can do the same thing. Like I'm not going to spend money today. Today is a day where I am not going to spend money. And if you have to do that three or four times during the day, or if you get the urge to go running out the door, with wallet in hand and going to the, right to the store, then talk to yourself first and see if that doesn't help. But looking at yourself in the mirror really does have a positive effect. Okay, on uh, number two, well, I'm not gonna number these because I'll probably lose track of what number I'm on. Purging is a very important step to low, low spend, no spend. And organizing is a very important process too, because this way you know what you have and you don't want to continue to fill up a space that is already full. So think about doing some purging and organizing with your low spend, no spend. It tells you how much you have. It kind of resets your brain to let you know that you're not doing without, you're not uh, missing out on anything by running out and going shopping. 
So that's a, to, uh, in my opinion, that's what I do when I'm on a low no spend. Plus, it takes up your time if you're bored that you, you know, and if you're having a hard time getting started, I mean, that happens to me. It's like, oh God, I don't feel like looking in my closet. Set a timer for yourself and just tell yourself, I'm only going to do this for 10 minutes. And at the end of that 10 minutes, you'll probably want to keep going. The hardest step is to get started when, when you're doing a process like that. And another thing that I do, once I have a section of my home organized, I want to keep it as clean as I can. So the process of keeping it clean and having a, a place for everything helps with your no buy, low buy. Again, the same psychological game of I have enough. And that tells your brain that you have enough, you don't need more. And you, after a while, you start to think, oh, if I drag this thing home, am I going to have to reorganize this or change up that in order to put this thing somewhere? Um, like, am I going to have to take things out of my closet in order to put things into the closet? Or am I going to have to take things off my fireplace in order to put this thing on my fireplace? And probably your answer is going to be, no, I don't want to bother. It's just too much bother. I don't love this thing enough to buy it. So let me see. Um, keep a journal in your budget notebook, just one journal page per, per month or two, however many you need to put in there. But keep it in your budget page. Divide your uh your budget into 12 months and then let's say in January you have one but uh, one journal page and when you fill it up you know you don't have to write a whole page full of things but just make notes to yourself and when that's filled up then you can get another journal page so but keeping it with your budget keeps your mind focused on that particular goal that you want to either save money or pay off debt or whatever your goal is for doing a no spend, low spend. So tying those things together is very helpful. Um, let's see what else we have. I think this is important too. Um, when you're doing your low spend, no spend rules, and I still have to do this, because I didn't include it in my original rules, but make a list of things that you really enjoy that you can treat yourself to one thing. And whether that's a coffee or an outfit or um, a tchotchke, you know, whatever, if you're really in love with something and you want to have it and you've asked yourself all these questions, do I have a space for it? You know, do I want to get rid of something else? And you still want that thing, put it in your treat yourself list. And if you want, of course, you can have a, um, a dollar amount that you allow yourself to spend. If you don't spend it in one month, you can roll it over to the next month, and that's a good way to save for something that's a little more expensive. But I think it's important that you have something to look forward to so you don't start feeling deprived. So a treat yourself list with a dollar amount and a time frame. Like if you want to treat yourself once a week to a little treat, fine. If you want to treat yourself once a month, that's fine too. Whatever, it's your time frame and it's your treat. But I think that's important and I'm going to do that and I'm going to keep that in my, in my budget book too. I'm going to have a list of things that I can do to treat myself. Um, don't be seduced by coupons. You know, you get all these coupons in the mail and this is on sale and that's on sale and, you know, all that stuff. Now, if you're prepping 
you, you probably want to use some of those things, but don't go buy something just because you have a coupon for it or just because you want to try something. Uh, stick to your basic shopping list. Having a very basic shopping list is one of the keys to sticking to a low spend, no spend. Because most of us do spend the most amount of money on food or things like that. So a very basic list. And if, if you want, you can even do a very basic list on clothes, you know, um, t-shirts, pants, um, pajamas, you know, a, a basic list of things that you will buy during the year if you need them, whatever, whatever your wants or needs are. So keeping a basic shopping list of, of things is very helpful, but especially with groceries. And this is actually the first year where I'm keeping my grocery list with my budget, because for me, that is where I spend the most money and where I wanna save the most money because I already have a stash built up and I have uh, f enough food. And the, the whole thing with my freezer going, I mean, I always had it in the back of my head, what if the power goes out, I'm gonna lose all this food and, you know, and which is a very realistic problem potentially. But when this actually happened and I couldn't use that freezer anymore and it was packed. Thank God I could take my food to my mother's, but if I hadn't been able to do that, I would have wasted all that money and it I really would have felt bad about that. So um, stick to the basics and use what you have already. You don't have to use it all up, you know, if you're a prepper, just say I'm going to use last year's Pro, uh, not produce, canned goods, or I'm going to use last year's uh, pasta or whatever it is, and then use that up. And then if you need to replenish it, then go ahead and replenish it. Also, when you go shopping and when you make your shopping list, focus on good nutrition. Don't buy a bunch of junk food. That's not going to help you. Don't buy a bunch of frozen pizzas. I mean, it's not, it's okay to buy some of that stuff, but buy things that you can make multiple meals of. If you love pizza, buy yourself some, um, some ingredients that you can make your own pizza so that it's cheaper. And you know, you can, if you buy cheese for your pizza, you can use that cheese for something else. If you uh, make pizza dough, or if you're not good at that, you can buy frozen pizza dough and you can use that for other things as well. Uh, same thing with, you can buy spaghetti sauce and season it with pizza seasoning. And then you can also use it to make spaghetti, lasagna, uh, Spanish rice. So try and buy ingredients that you can use for multiple meals instead of just one frozen pizza and it's one and done. So um, that's very helpful. Um, all right, as far as watching YouTube videos, okay, it's really fun to watch people that do a lot of big, huge hauls. Okay, some people go do clothes hauls and they model them and, you know, and that's fine. I mean, that's a lot of fun. But you have to wonder where do they put all these things? Do they buy these things, try them on, model them, and then take them back to the store? They might, but if you're the person watching these videos on the other side of the camera, um, it's going to trigger you to want to go buy that outfit at Walmart or Kohl's or wherever it is you shop. So try not to watch those videos. If you're a crafter, you know, and, and you love crafting, that's great. I'm sure you have a whole room full of crafts. I know I do. You know, I went crazy at one point buying beads and paints and all those things. But I have so much in there that I don't need to watch a new um, medium in painting that I don't have, that I have to go out and buy all the new paints and things for. 
So use what you have in your stash. Use something similar. If somebody makes a wreath that you like on a video, I'm sure you can find something very similar in your stash that you can use. Try to be creative with your own imagination and get the original idea from a person and then make it your own. So um, try not to watch a lot of haul videos. Um, if you do watch haul videos, try and watch frugal hauls rather than carte blanche. I'm buying everything in Dollar Tree. So uh, that, that, that doesn't work for me. If, if I see a lot of things that it, it triggers my brain into going, oh, oh, good, let's go. Come on, let's go out the door. Hurry up, get your wallet. So I have to be very careful with watching hauls. So, and, and you might need to do that too. Okay, just a couple more. Um, and this is not anything new. Shop your home. If you get, if you get the urge to go buy yourself an outfit, um, go look in your closet. Go look, uh, go look at your shoe stash. Try and put some outfits together. You may have something similar to what you have seen. If you get clothing uh, catalogs and things like that, you can look through those, but not with the idea of buying, but cut them out or in a magazine, if you see an outfit you like, cut it out, make yourself a notebook and try and have clothes that are similar to what you see. Keep that in mind. What do I have in my closet? Do I have a skirt that kind of looks like this skirt? And if you do, then find some outfits in, in a magazine or something to, just to give you ideas. So shop your closet, shop your craft room, uh, shop your, of course, this is what I'm doing, shopping my freezer and my refrigerator because I don't want to buy any more food. I have enough food. I don't feel deprived. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy some lettuce eventually. I'm going to have to buy something. I'm sure that's fresh, maybe some fresh fruit, but I'm cutting way back on that. And I'm even trying to use up the fruit that I have in my freezer and I will keep it replenished, but it, it's really one of my main goals. That, my clothes and my crafts, those are three big things that I'm working on. And I already, I used to go out every year and buy new Christmas things. Oh, you know, they were so cute. I don't even look at them anymore. So I downsized on that and I really, really like what I still have. So I don't need any more of that. My next project is going to be, that was my garage attic. My next project is going to be my house attic where I have a lot of old clothes and I'm, you know, some of them are 20 years old, but they're still good. They're classic designs, but I want to look through those, see what I have, what doesn't fit me anymore, because my shape has changed some. What doesn't fit me, I'm going to give away. Um, what's totally out of style, that's going to go, or what I don't wear anymore, that's going to go. So as far as my crafts go, I'm keeping what I have, but I have to get back into actually doing some crafts, which right now I don't have time to do. So I'm hoping that when I get these other things taken care of, I'll have a little more free time to do uh, my crafts. Um, I may even reopen my little jewelry business, my paintings, I sold those, I sold my jewelry but I might even go there just for some extra money. I don't know, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't because then it kind of puts a little bit of pressure on me and I really don't wanna do anything that puts pressure on me anymore. I just want a chill life. I wanna enjoy my retirement, however long that may be. And um, you know, while I'm still able-bodied, um, I wanna do what I can do. So, and last, but not least, if you're really, really having a hard time, um, seek professional help. There's, you know, Shoppers Anonymous, 
um, watch budgeting channels that might be of help to you, might give you some ideas, but getting professional help if you need it and you just can't do it on your own is probably the best way to go. Um, so those are some of the tips that I have and a lot of things that I've done. And I feel I, for the most part, have been uh, pretty successful with my no low spends and readjusting to my retirement income. Do I have it all together? No, I still have to go back and I have to redo things and I have to uh, see what's working, what's not working and go by there. Another thing, if you can't afford to buy food, use your local food bank, call your churches, call your city, see what resources are available to you. All right, well, that's all I have today on my Tea Tuesday. So I'm going to have my Coffee Tuesday here right now. I will have tea, but it's still still morning here and the tea I'm going to save till this afternoon. So I'm just having my second cup of coffee for the morning and uh, that's all I have for you today. Oops, forgot to take a sip. So in the meantime, I wish you abundant blessings. Be good to yourself, be good to others. I love you guys, God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.